It's time for another trip on the recruiting trail as we hit the road to meet some of the nation's best prospects. This week, we're stopping in Atlanta, Georgia. That's where we'll meet offensive lineman Miles Hinton of Greater Atlanta Christian. As we close the book on the 2019 recruiting class, it's time to take a look ahead to 2020. Miles Hinton of Greater Atlanta Christian School is rated as a five-star prospect and is ranked among the top 20 players in his class. He's the son of former Indianapolis Colts great Chris Hinton, and his older brother, also named Chris, has signed to play football for Michigan next season. With a family history like that, you would assume that this six foot six inch, 300 pounder has been all about football all his life. But that's not really the case. So my mom, dad, and brother was kind of big, but I'm not gonna lie, not until I was probably like, maybe probably 10 to 15, I didn't really care about sports. I think it was my eighth grade year of football, and I got a sack, and it was just so exciting and fun, and I was like, ah, <laughs> it's pretty fun. And at that time, O-line wasn't that like big in middle school because it's kind of just like step left, step right. But <laughs> now it's more complex and it's more fun to me. I mean, he fits the, the offensive line mold. I mean, as, as far as tackle, he's, he's very methodical in his thinking and, and, and understanding, and he does a great job in understanding concepts and, and blocking schemes. As Miles has become more serious about the game, his curiosity to learn more has complemented the impressive size he brings to the offensive line. I think he's sort of a big, big teddy bear. Now I say that, I mean, he's an aggressive player. I don't mean that, but it's just sort of a uh, happy young man, very positive, uh, sort of easygoing personality. Uh, he's really developing just sort of a, a killer instinct on the field. Uh, and the sky's the limit with him. He does play both sides, but is, is projected probably as an offensive tackle uh, as he moves forward, has a prototypical size, and, and that sort of fits him. While he likely has a future in football, Miles has not let go of his creative side. He's an accomplished artist, and his paintings and drawings provide him a nice escape from football when he needs it. I remember when I was younger, I think I saw something and I was like, oh, that'd be cool to draw. Or I saw someone draw something, that'd be cool to like be able to do that. And I've always wanted to like get better and better to be able to do some stuff that I see on like videos and stuff. But I'm kind of there now. <laughs> the Civil Rights Museum in Atlanta, there was like a showcase and I submitted three works and they all got like chosen to be in it. He's, he's always enjoyed drawing and so from a very young age we put him in like art camps and things which is a little challenging with football camps so we would do art. <laughs> we would have an art camp and then we take him to football. It's just a passion for him and it's a relaxing piece of his being I guess. I think he really enjoys it. Miles still has a year of high school to play but he's already made his college decision. He'll be furthering his academic and athletic careers at Stanford. With his willingness to learn on and off the football field, Miles looks like he's prepared to add to the Hinton football legacy.